That's a tough one. Um, uh, Lip Service by uh, Elvis Costello. Someone suggested it a while ago. And to be honest, I'd never heard the song before. So um, I listened to it and I liked it right away. And, uh, you know, just typical Bruce Thomas, you know. Uh, a lot of his bass lines really... I'm, I guess I'm a bigger Bruce Thomas fan than I am an Elvis Costello fan. Um, because I think uh, a lot of Bruce's bass lines actually make the songs and uh, I think this is one of them so I like it so much I'm going to play through a little bit of it and uh, uh, I should have thought this through a little better but uh, here it goes <laughs> it's kind of neat in the beginning there he does these skips that are um, uh, L little hard to hear. I didn't. I didn't really pick up on them until shortly before I uh, recorded this. So. plays that the first time that's a neat little riff um he he puts that hesitation in there when he plays it the second time he uh and uh like all his bass lines there's little subtle variations uh throughout the song and that's kind of what makes it a little tricky to to learn all right, let me uh, take it from there. <laughs> On that part, you almost want to go... Because that's what the bass drum is doing. Uh, let's see if I can find it. <laughs> 
Pretty sure the bass line is um, just playing it straight like I in that part too. I almost want to do. I don't believe it does that. And again, Bruce Thomas is um is one of those few guys who can uh, just play up that high and and not have the bottom fall out on him. John Deacon uh, does that a lot as well. So um, let you finish the chorus. <laughs> For some reason, that was one of the trickiest parts for me. The because again, he plays it um, three or four times in the song, and the, e each time he plays it a little differently. Um, what else was I going to say? I was hearing uh, a chorus on the. Uh, uh, what I mean is a chorus effect on the uh, bass part during the chorus. And I actually, I um, I was, I was, I had some contact with Bruce on Facebook, and I actually asked him if he was using a chorus through the whole song or just on that part. And he said there was no chorus uh, at all. Let's see if you can hear it. <laughs> combination of the bass being that high and it sounds like a little um, 12 string electric in there but that's what I was uh, that's what I was hearing <laughs> part again. It's also kind of neat uh, when he goes from the uh, C sharp here to the, uh, the descending line here and the that he uses the open E as a, a kind of pivot point. The first time he slides up And there's that 
skippy thing. plays that part differently there. And then the chorus. And then uh, the, the last part where he does that kind of walking thing and does a couple of variations there. Thank God the song was only, how long is it? Uh, two and a, half, a little over two and a half minutes. If it were, you know, if it would have gone on any longer than that, another verse or two, uh, there just would have been that many more variations because he never plays the same thing twice. So the uh, the last set of those things is. up a note there. Sorry about that. And uh, the uh, the very last one, the kind of some odd note choices. Um, Just, um, I'm not, I'm not used to that sort of thing. Anyway, that's it. Thanks.